harder than that. So all I got to do is touch the blade light. See this right here? This one really goes well in my pocket. In my watch pocket, how's is my sharpener so easy it isn't funny? Then I just take this, oops, I got twins. No wonder I can't find the other one. <laughs> and you just brush along like that. You don't press very hard, you just let it work. You don't make it work. Turn it over, work on the tip if you want to this way. Like that, like that, like that. See, it looks like this on your side. I've got the hard, sharp corner of the sharpener touching the cutting edge of the blade on the same bevel. Turn it 45 degrees, brush the blade. Let's say, well, this knife right here, uh, cheap knife. I hope you guys are standing here. Okay, and it was ground really steep and everything like that. So in the process of waiting sometimes, I work on his knife. And it won't be very long, because now it's like, at least like that. It won't be very long, and I'll have a really sharp knife made out of that knife. These two go together. So any knife, any blade, any configuration, thick blades cut like that, that's a pleasure. You know, or even a knife like this, which is, that's not a knife, you know, your, what do you call it, a... Cleaver, meat cleaver, cuts like that. And all I ever really have to do, I support this edge so it, it isn't like that. Just support the edge like that. It's better off if you set it down and work on it like this. Don't push too hard, let it work, don't make it work. Brush light, take the edge off, the wire edge off the blade and you're right back in business, chopping chicken's heads off or whatever with one that cuts like that. Now getting a lot better. Okay. I'll, I'll take that now. Okay. 